As you know, Freedom offers a ton of music for you to use for free in your videos and live streams. The three main catalogs, however, have some restrictions. And some of these will be new to you, so pay close attention. We have EpidemicSound.com. This is what it looks like when you sign in on that website. We have AudioMicro.com, which has a ton of music and sound effects. And we have PositionMusic.com, which has a lot of professional music used in movies, video games, and TV shows. The first restriction that many of you don't know has to do with Audio Micro. You cannot use loops packs. Loops packs are something you'd have to pay for, but you have access to everything else, sound effects and music. In fact, there are only three kinds of music on Audio Micro music, sound effects, and loop packs. You just don't have access to loop packs, which is not too bad considering how much you would have to pay to get Audio Micro if you were not partnered with Freedom. Another restriction comes from Epidemic Sound. You have to use the music as background music. You can't upload the full track using a music video or a music visualizer. That is a restriction to the Epidemic Sound catalog. For example, Take a look at this channel. It has videos that are essentially music videos. Let me play a clip. One, two, one, two, three. This entire video is a music video that contains a full length epidemic sound track. The music is in the foreground. That's not allowed. The music has to be in the background, like you hear behind me as I'm speaking. That's an appropriate use of epidemic sound. Just don't use the full tracks on standalone videos. Now that restriction does not apply to position music or audio micro. You can use standalone tracks in music visualizers or music videos for these libraries, just not epidemic sound. Do you think these restrictions are fair? Tell me in the comments below how you're using these music libraries. Send us links to your videos featuring music from Position, from Epidemic, from Audio Micro. We would love to see them and help each other grow together as a family. Because that is the spirit of freedom. We all help each other grow together as a family. So click that I to partner with freedom if you haven't already, so we can all grow together. Now let's read some of your deserving comments from the video talking about the latest feature, YouTube End Screens. I created a video that YouTube showed launch you end screens for that showed you how the new end screens look. Are you using the new end screens available in End Screen and Annotations, the new tab? It rolled out to everybody a few days ago. And if you Skip ahead in this video, you can see exactly how it looks. This is the end screen uh, subscribe button, and these are the end screen links to videos that you can position anywhere you like in the last 20 seconds of your video. YouTube also launched new analytics for tracking the performance of end screens that you can see right here in your shiny YouTube dashboard. And as you can see for us, we have a big jump because we have only one day worth of data, but you can see exactly who is clicking on your end screen links, what is the click-through rate, and you should use this to optimize your end screens to get the exact right layout that's best for your audience. All of this works on mobile. That's the big difference between this and annotations, which do not work on mobile. Are you using them? Send us links down there in the comments below to your examples and include the time code and t equals 34 seconds so it jumps right to your end screen now onto your comments we had over 300 actually exactly 300 comments and a few of you said may not be very long but useful nonetheless that was twilight prince Mustache Cash Stash Full said, Hey George, so can you reply? Because one person is telling me that you should do more uploading your videos and stuff that's somewhat, that some of us want sometimes. <laughs> I would love to upload more. I upload as much as I can, but because we have this new $60 million cash investment, click that eye in case you didn't know that. That's keeping me very, very busy. I'd love to get to making two videos of The George Show a day, which is what many of you told me you want when time permits.
Twilight Prince also made a good point to add end screens to all your old content because even though it may not get many views, you never know what might happen. He wrote that on some of his older videos that get views, now that they have end cards, there's a slight chance the video can come back alive. And Demkeys even replied, wow well, man, I didn't know that. That's an excellent example of the Freedom Family helping each other grow together. Share your tips, your best practices down there in the comments below so we can all learn from each other. Here is how I want you to link your end screens in the comments below. Do you see this and t equals 34 seconds? That's what jumps to 34 seconds when I click this link in that video. And if it's more than a minute, you just use the M. So like 2M34S would jump to 2 minutes and 34 seconds. And I imagine if your video is over an hour long, then there's an H, like 2H2M. 34S and would jump to 2 hours, 2 minutes, and 34 seconds. I don't have any 2 hour videos to test that on. Did I get that right? <laughs> Tell me in the comments below. Dr. Dunk said, this is really useful because phones also use it. Yes, these end screens work on mobile phones, which is definitely one of the biggest reasons to use them over annotations. Ibi also said, glad to see people are picking up the trend. And you're early again. You beat me again, again. Are you gonna beat Ibby this time in this video? Let's see. Ashley Silverdust wrote, end screens, yes, finally. This is an extremely useful feature, I agree. I'm Hugo Leandro said, finally, was waiting for this update like two or three months ago. Me too. Vitokin wrote, finally a useful video from you. I'm curious, is this video useful as well? Of course I wanna make useful videos, I don't wanna bore you. And sometimes when I do updates, I can imagine it's not interesting to you. Sorry about that, but I try my best. What topics do you think I should cover, Vitokin, that would interest you even more? Tell me in the comments below. I read every single comment so you can be sure that your suggestion will get read. Kimofi said, they launch it right after I upload a video without an outro. Yeah, they did that on purpose. Casanova Kurai wrote, I love how your video cut off mid-sentence. Yeah, I ran out of time. I'll do a better job at the end of this video. I actually wrote, I felt like this was a presidential debate with a 20 second response timer. Time's up, stop talking. Dark Lord Vids asked, saw this, can you save them like a custom template? then you could add the same on all videos. And Ashley Silverdust answered, while you're in the end screen editor, there's an import from video button. Click that and it'll let you choose from any other videos you've previously used end screens on. This will apply the same elements, just like a template, as the chosen video to the current video. Hope this helps. And who am I? I am George Sunpai, Papa George, and many other names you, the beautiful Freedom Family, has given me. I am George, CEO and founder of Freedom <laughs> for Freedom and the Freedom Family. And if you like this video, click the like button down there. And now for the end screen, to get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of the George Show. Click the Freedom Family plus one video to see I'm having a new baby, number four. And the $60 million video to see the $60 million coming to Freedom to help you grow.